What is up, everybody? JT Dangerously here once again. I am back to do my Week 9 NFL predictions. Now, Week 8 just ended tonight on Monday Night Football with the Kansas City Chiefs getting it done over the New York Giants. So Week 8 is in the books, and we're now into Week 9 of the NFL season. So I'm very excited to do my Week 9 NFL predictions for you guys, and I hope you guys do enjoy. Now, our record in Week 8 was fantastic. We went 11-4, and four, so we're coming in extremely hot, and I'm looking to keep it that way. So over this video, we will continue the winning ways. We're on a five-week winning streak. Hopefully, this video... We may get six weeks in a row, hopefully. Now, if you guys haven't checked out the two big videos that I put up on the channel today, guys, definitely go check them out if you haven't because this is the third and final video of the day. So, hope you guys be able to watch this video and all the fantastic videos we got on deck on the channel on this very big month of November. And as always, short support on the channel as always, guys, by watching these videos, super kicking those like buttons, hitting that notification bell, commenting your picks, your opinions, and representing your NFL teams in the comment sections down below. Now, if this is your first time watching my channel today, guys, as a first-time viewer, and this is your first video, boy, you picked a good one if you're a huge fan of the NFL, like myself, and you're ready for week nine of the NFL season. Welcome to the Dangerous Alliance. I'm JT Dangerously. Welcome to the club, because this club is... Two. Woo, woo! Again, thank you guys so very much. Now, other than that, let's get right into my Week 9 NFL predictions. Let's start off with the buys first. Now, if you do own a fantasy football team on Yahoo Sports or ESPN like myself, and you have players that are on buys, make sure you have suitable replacements for them. Now, the buys this week in Week number 9 of the NFL season are for the winless Detroit Lions, my Seattle Seahawks, the reigning Super Bowl champs, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and the Washington football team. So, if you have any players on any of those four squads, make sure you have suitable replacements for them, so you'll be ready for your next fantasy football matchup. Let's start off on Thursday Night Football with the New York Jets heading to Lucas Oil Stadium to face the Indianapolis Colts. Now the Jets are coming off their big home victory on Sunday, defeating the Cincinnati Bengals, and the Jets are looking to continue the winning ways with a victory on the road on Thursday night. There is the idea of the Indianapolis Colts coming off their loss on Sunday in overtime to the Tennessee Titans, and the Colts are looking to rebound and bounce back at home. So coming from me in this AFC showdown on Thursday Night Football... I am going to go with Carson Wentz, Jonathan Taylor, and the Indianapolis Colts to rebound and bounce back at home and defeat the New York Jets on Thursday Night Football in a close shootout. And now the Sunday slate, which starts at 10 a.m. here on the West Coast, 1 p.m. on the East Coast. Starting off with an AFC North rivalry showdown, and it's the Battle of Ohio between the Cleveland Browns heading to Cincinnati to face the Cincinnati Bengals. Now the Browns are coming off their loss at home to the Pittsburgh Steelers on Sunday, and the Browns are looking to rebound and bounce back on the road against another AFC North rival. There is the idea of the Cincinnati Bengals coming off their loss on the road to the New York Jets in very embarrassing fashion, and the Bengals are looking to rebound and bounce back at home against an AFC North rival. So coming from me in this AFC North rivalry showdown and the Battle of Ohio. This one's going to be really good, especially with the quarterback and running back showdown. I mean, you got Baker versus Joe Burrow, Oklahoma versus LSU. You got Nick Chubb versus Joe Mixon, Oklahoma versus Georgia. This one's going to be a good one when it comes to the quarterback and running back showdown. But coming from me, I am going to go with Joe Burrow, Joe Mixon, and the Cincinnati Bengals to rebound and bounce back at home and defeat the Cleveland Browns in a shootout. And now next matchup between the Denver Broncos heading to the Jerry Dome to face the Dallas Cowboys. Now the Broncos are coming off their big victory at home over the Washington football team on Sunday. And the Broncos are looking to continue the winning ways and get a win on the road to get above 500. There is the idea of the Dallas Cowboys coming off their victory on Sunday Night Football over the Minnesota Vikings. And they did it without quarterback Dak Prescott, which is pretty amazing. And their backup quarterback actually got it done for them. And the Cowboys are looking to continue this amazing year that they're having. They're looking to get it done at home. So coming from me in this matchup... Hopefully, Dak Prescott will be back for the Cowboys, but if he's not, hopefully the backup will do what he did on Sunday Night Football and keep the Cowboys with big wins. And their defense, as usual, getting better and better and for the first time in years. So coming from me, I am going to go with the Dallas Cowboys to continue the winning ways and get it done at home and defeat the Denver Broncos. And now next matchup, it is an AFC showdown between the Houston Texans heading to Miami to face the Miami Dolphins. Now the Texans are coming off another loss on Sunday. What else is new, folks, is the Houston Texans losing to the Los Angeles Rams. And the Texans are really struggling right now. And I don't think they really care anymore. They're 1-7. They're definitely going to be looking for a draft pick in next year's NFL draft. But the Texans are desperately looking to get their second win of the season. And they're looking to get it done on the road. There is the idea of the Miami Dolphins coming off their loss on the road to the Buffalo Bills on Sunday. And boy, talk about a team that was close to making the playoffs last year to being 1-7 this year. And I know my good friend Joseph Collin on the Big Fight Field channel, who is a diehard Dolphins fan, is extremely frustrated. And hell, I don't blame the guy. I mean, this team was on the cusp of making the playoffs last year, and they're coming into this season 1-7. 
unacceptable. And the fact that they're, they, it seems like they don't want to win. And like the fact that Tua is saying, oh, he's just there. And with all the swirling around with the trade deadline coming up, that Deshaun Watson may be coming to Miami and Tua could be going to Houston. There's a lot of stories coming out of Miami for sure. But Miami is desperately looking to get their second victory, victory of the season and they're looking to get it done at home. So coming from me in this AFC showdown between these two 1-7 and seven squads desperately looking for their second win of the season. Ah, <sighs> man, this one's tough. But coming from me, I am going to go with Tua Tonga Vailoa and the Miami Dolphins to rebound and bounce back at home and defeat the Houston Texans. Fins up. And now the next matchup. It is an NFC South rivalry showdown between the Atlanta Falcons heading to the Superdome to face the New Orleans Saints. Now the Falcons are coming off their loss at home to the Carolina Panthers on Sunday, and the Falcons are looking to rebound and bounce back on the road and get back to 500. There is idea of the New Orleans Saints coming off their big victory at home on Sunday, defeating the reigning Super Bowl champs, Tom Brady and the Bucks. But with that big victory at home came with a heavy price because the Saints have lost quarterback Jameis Winston for the year with a torn ACL. So now Sean Payton has to choose between Taysom Hill or Trevor Simeon. But, but that is a huge loss for the Saints. After beating the reigning Super Bowl champs on their home field on Sunday, they lose Jameis Winston for the year. And that is a huge loss for the Saints. But the Saints are looking to continue the winning ways and get it done at home once again. So coming from me in this NFC South rivalry showdown, I am going to go with the New Orleans Saints to get it done at home once again and defeat the Atlanta Falcons. And now next matchup between the Las Vegas Raiders heading to Gotham to face the New York Giants. Now the Vegas Raiders are coming off their bye week. They're coming in at 5-2 and two, and the Raiders are looking to come off a bye with a victory on the road. There is either the New York Giants coming off their loss tonight on Monday Night Football to the Kansas City Chiefs. And the Giants are looking to rebound and bounce back at home. So coming from me in this matchup... I am going to go with Derek Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders to come off a bye with a big victory on the road and defeat the New York Giants. And now next matchup between my New England Patriots heading to Charlotte, North Carolina to face the Carolina Panthers. Now my Patriots are coming off their big victory over the Los Angeles Chargers on Sunday. Mac Jones had a big game and my Patriots are looking to continue the winning ways and get above 500 for the first time this season. There is how you have the Carolina Panthers coming off their victory on the road over the Atlanta Falcons on Sunday. Sam Darnold had a big game and even without Christian McCaffrey at running back, the running position in Carolina definitely got some big numbers from Amir Abdullah, a Former, former standout in college, and I forget the other running back's name, but he had some big numbers on the ground as well. And the Panthers are looking to continue the winning ways and get above 500 for the first time in a couple weeks. So coming from me in this showdown between my channel and Showstopper TV's uh, channel, which Showstopper TV is a long, die-hard Carolina Panthers fan, and I do want to wish my captain of the SOC, Showstopper TV, best of luck and may the best team win. But you already know on my channel, I'm going to go with the Mac attack of Mac Jones and my New England Patriots to get it done on the road and get it get their fifth victory of the season and defeat the Carolina Panthers. And now next matchup, it is an AFC showdown between the Buffalo Bills heading to Jacksonville to face the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now the Bills are coming off their big road, uh, home victory on Sunday, defeating the Miami Dolphins. Josh Allen had a big game on the uh, in the air, and the Bills are looking to continue winning ways with a victory on the road. There is either the Jacksonville Jaguars coming off their loss on Sunday on the road to my Seattle Seahawks, and the Jags are looking to rebound and bounce back at home and looking to get their second victory of the season. So coming from me in this AFC showdown... I am going to go with Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs and the Buffalo Bills to get it done on the road and defeat the Jacksonville Jaguars. And now next matchup between the Minnesota Vikings heading to Baltimore to face the Baltimore Ravens. Now the Vikings are coming off their loss on Sunday Night Football to the Dallas Cowboys. Even though Dak didn't play, they still lost to a backup quarterback. And the Vikings are looking desperately to rebound and bounce back on the road and get above, get back to 500. There is of the Baltimore Ravens coming off their bye week. They're coming in at 5-2. and two, And with the Cincinnati Bengals losing to the New York Jets on Sunday, Baltimore has a chance to quite possibly get back on top of the AFC North with a victory. So coming from me in this matchup... Kirk Cousins versus Lamar Action Jackson. This one should be good. But coming from me, I'm going to go with Lamar Action Jackson, Mark Andrews. And if you guys don't have Mark Andrews on your fantasy football team, pick him up quick, as soon as possible. And the Baltimore Ravens, to get it done at home and defeat the Minnesota Vikings. And now next matchup between the Los Angeles Chargers heading to Philly to face the Philadelphia Eagles. Now the Chargers are coming off their loss on Sunday to my New England Patriots. And the Chargers are looking to rebound and bounce back on the road. There is idea of the Philadelphia Eagles coming off their road victory over the Detroit Lions on Sunday. But everybody's beating Detroit these days. But Jalen Hurts had a big game and the Eagles are looking to continue winning ways with a victory at home. So coming from me in this matchup... 
This one's going to be good. Justin Herbert versus Jalen Hurts. This one's going to be good when it comes to the quarterback showdown. But coming from me, I'm going to go with Justin Herbert and the Los Angeles Chargers to rebound and bounce back on the road and defeat the Philadelphia Eagles in a shootout. And now next matchup between the Green Bay Packers heading to Arrowhead to face the Kansas City Chiefs. Now the Packers are coming off their big road victory on Thursday night football, defeating and ending Arizona Cardinals undefeated streak. Aaron Rodgers had a big game and the the Packers are looking to continue this amazing year that they're having and looking to get it done on the road once again. There is idea of the Kansas City Chiefs coming off their victory on Monday Night Football tonight over the New York Giants. And coming in at 4-4, four and four, I really do not see the Chiefs making it back to the Super Bowl this year or even making it to the AFC Championship game this year as the reigning back-to-back -back AFC champions. Because this team is still struggling at 4-4. Four and four, They're still not a credible AFC team to look out for. I mean, you got so many other teams in the AFC this year, like Tennessee, like Cincinnati, like Pittsburgh, like uh, the Patriots, like the, um, the Bills. So many other AFC teams are better than the Chiefs this season. And the Chiefs are looking to continue the winning ways and get back above 500 with a victory at home. So coming from me in this matchup, this one should be good, especially with the quarterback showdown with Aaron Rodgers versus Patrick Mahomes. This one should be good, but coming from me, I am going to go with a discount double check of Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers to get it done on the road once again and defeat the Kansas City Chiefs in an offensive shootout. And now next matchup, it is an NFC West rivalry showdown between the Arizona Cardinals heading to Santa Clara to face the San Francisco 49ers. Now the Cardinals are coming off their embarrassing loss on Thursday Night Football, losing at home to the Green Bay Packers. And I'm going to just say this right now, and I've been saying it all week. That decision to throw the ball when you're, you're, down, by a, you're down by a field goal with 10 seconds to go, you don't go for the field goal. You try to throw the ball to the end zone trying to win the game. Cliff Kingsbury is a smart coach. I watched him at Texas Tech. The fact that he did not think of just going for the field goal, forcing the OT, and possibly staying undefeated, it had to go past his head like an airplane. And I mean, it was maybe the, mo the biggest bonehead decision I've ever seen. Because, again, some people would say, yes, it would have been a better decision to go for the touchdown and win it. But if you're in the end zone, if you're in the red zone, and you have 10 seconds left, Kick the field goal. Go into OT and have a better chance of possibly winning the game. But what happened, happened. It is what it is. And Arizona lost their undefeated streak thanks to that bonehead decision. But the Cardinals are looking to rebound and bounce back on the road. There is idea of the San Francisco 49ers coming off their big road victory of the Chicago Bears on Sunday. Jimmy Garoppolo had a big game on the ground with his feet. And the 49ers are looking to continue the winning ways and get a victory at home to get, a, get back to 500. So coming from me in this NFC West rivalry showdown... This one's going to be good. Kyler Murray versus Jimmy Garoppolo. Maybe we'll see a little bit of Trey Lance in the, in the mix with the Niners, but coming from me, I am going to go with Kyler Murray, D Hops, and Cliff Kingsbury and the Arizona Cardinals to rebound and bounce back from that embarrassing bonehead loss last week on the, uh, uh, and get it done on the road and defeat the San Francisco 49ers in a close shootout. And now the Sunday night matchup, and easily the biggest game in week number nine of the NFL season between the Tennessee Titans heading to the Coliseum to face the Los Angeles Rams. Now the Titans are coming off their big victory in overtime over the Indianapolis Colts on Sunday, but with that victory in overtime came with a heavy, heavy price because the Tennessee Titans have lost their star running back, Derrick Henry, with a broken foot, and it looks like he's going to be out six to ten weeks, possibly the whole season, but that loss is huge for the Tennessee Titans going into the postseason because if they do not have Derrick Henry in their lineup running the ball, the Titans are going to be in trouble. Yes, they did sign Adrian Peterson, and I, he is still one of my favorite running backs out of Oklahoma, but he doesn't have that kind of that, that oomph that Derrick Henry has getting the ball and running it. Even though I love the guy, Derrick Henry is a very special running back. And you can't just replace him with a guy who's had double ACL surgeries that can still go, no less. But it's hard to replace Derrick Henry, but that loss is huge. But the Titans are looking to continue the red-hot winning ways they are on and looking to get it done on the road on third, on Sunday night. There is idea of the Los Angeles Rams coming off their victory on Sunday over the Houston Texans. And boy, this Rams team is really good. And now they just added Von Miller to that defense. I mean, you got Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey, and Von Miller on that defense. You talk about dangerous. No pun intended. That Rams defense is getting better and better. And the fact that Matthew Stafford is finally winning as a starting quarterback makes me happy. Because I watched Matthew Stafford 
playing Detroit for years, losing seasons after losing seasons, but now he finally has a team that he can work around and win. And I am happy for him. And the Rams are looking to continue this red-hot winning ways and looking to get it done at home on Sunday night. So coming from me in this massive Sunday night football showdown, the biggest game in week number nine of the NFL season, this one's going to be good. I mean, Matthew Stafford versus Ryan Tannehill. But coming from me, the loss of Derrick Henry for the Titans hurts them big time. So coming from me, I'm going to go with Matthew Stafford, Vaughn Miller, and the Los Angeles Rams to continue the winning ways and get it done at home and defeat the Tennessee Titans on Sunday Night Football in an absolute banger. And now the Monday Night matchup. They'll go against Monday Night Raw is Snore between the Chicago Bears heading to Heinz Field to face the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now the Bears are coming off their loss at home to the San Francisco 49ers. Even though their offense looked good, even Justin Fields had a fantastic fourth down run play for a touchdown, their defense let them down. And I know my good friend Gamers Goon, who is a die-hard Chicago Bears fan, is extremely frustrated with this team. And I don't blame him. I mean, the offense was clicking on that game on Sunday against the 49ers, but for some insane reason, the Bears defense, which has Khalil Mack and so many other great players, did not deliver for them. And I can definitely understand his frustration, and he's hoping his Bears can rebound and bounce back on the road on Monday night. There is of the Pittsburgh Steelers coming off their big road victory over the Cleveland Browns on Sunday, and the Steelers are looking to continue the winning ways and get a victory at home on Monday night. So coming from me in this showdown on Monday Night Football, Justin Fields versus Big Ben. This one should be good, but coming from me, it's hard to trust the Bears when their offense gets good and then their defense falls asleep and then their defense gets good and then their offense falls asleep. So coming from me, I am going to go with Big Ben and the Pittsburgh Steelers to get it done at home and defeat the Chicago Bears on Monday Night Football. And those are my Week 9 NFL predictions. Now I want to thank you guys so very much for watching this video today. Comment below. Who do you see winning in week number nine of the NFL season? Who do you see winning that huge Sunday night game between Tennessee and the Rams? And let me know, who do you think will be the top seed in the AFC and who will be the top seed in the NFC? Let me know all of your picks and your opinions. And as always, represent your NFL teams in the comments section. Even if they're having a rough year like the Miami Dolphins, like the Houston Texans, like the Windless Lions and the Jaguars, still represent them in the comment section. Let's have a conversation about it. Of course, I'm always on to see your comment. Like it and of course, reply right back to because comments and your opinions are absolutely always welcome on this channel. Now, I do want to thank you guys so very much for watching all three of my big videos that I put up on the channel today guys again thank you guys so very much for all the support as always now before you guys go you guys can never forget to do this that like button comment share with friends of course super kick that like button like only you guys can of course you guys can never forget to do this as well that subscribe button become part of this bigger and dangerous. Dangerous Alliance, we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers and we're getting so close to that milestone mark. So if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, guys, what are you guys waiting for? If you're a fan of professional wrestling when it comes to New Japan Pro Wrestling, All Elite Wrestling, and Ring of Honor Wrestling, and you're a fan of professional sports when it comes to the NFL, college football, Major League Baseball, the NBA, the NHL, college basketball, super kick that subscribe button, folks. It's free and you become part of this bigger Dangerous Alliance. And I will see you guys next week for a massive six video week. Later days, guys. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Stay safe. Later days and peace.